CB, as a team, has it been your guys' goal to give fans a heart attack to start the season? No, we're, we're, we're trying to uh, get better in late-game situations. Um, that's why we've been missing free throws on purpose at the end. And, uh, just keeping it close so we can improve, you know, on those situations. And um, honestly, I hope it I hope it'll be good for us. But you know, it has been a little bit stressful. Um, but it'll be it'll be good for us, you know, down the road. How important is this moment for the team when Jamal's out, Aaron's out? You guys have lived one of the best teams in the NBA. A couple of years <coughs> haven't lost a game yet. Just how important was this? Maybe psychologically. Well, I think we just, you know, we need to, uh, to beat a good team. Obviously, you know, every win matters. You know, it's a tough conference, and, you know, every time a good team, you know, we're going to get a good team every night um, that comes in here, and we got to protect home court. And we didn't do that the first two games, um, uh, but our energy was great, you know, throughout the game. We were down 11 and a half. Um, we just kept chipping away and chipping away, and, you know, Russ's energy was was probably the biggest part of that. But obviously, you know, when we have Nicola, you have Mike, uh, you're probably in every game. So, um, you know, we should a really good job of uh, being consistent um, and that, that, that win is big, you know, um, just to see, you know, us, us beat, you know, a good team um, and win at home and, uh, you know, play in, in, that, in that big moment. I know it's not a lot of time, but what, what has changed in the positive way from that first game against the Thunder until tonight? Uh, I mean, I think our energy was really good tonight. Um, I think at times it's been up and down, but I think um, even when we were down, you know, Russ was on us at all times, and um, just our energy was really good throughout. And like I said, if we have energy and, and we're competing, we're a really good team, um, and we can beat anybody. But uh, I don't think anything has changed. We're getting used to each other, I think. Um, and like you said, we have, you know, two of our best players, you know, out, and that's tough to overcome, but it's good to get a win and good for guys to, you know, get experience in that game in a big game um, and big moments like that. Um, and we've had we've had a lot of those, but um, against a really good team, a team that we're going to compete with in the Western Conference, um, you know that's a really big win. CB, I know there's not a bunch of time for you guys to practice throughout the regular season. So wouldn't you guys put that like three-two zone kind of look in, and, and how do you think that worked for you guys? Yeah, yeah, we put that in uh, today. We we haven't ran that. We haven't. Uh, you know, practiced it much, but it was really effective, you know, and that was actually something the coach talked about too. Coach said that he was like, you know, um, it's something that we're going to throw at him. Um, all you got to do is have energy and fly around, and that unit that we have in, you know, with Russ, with Peyton, uh, you know, me, and then Nicola obviously getting deflections, I think that's probably the biggest part too is Nicola was really active tonight, um, and that, that zone threw a different look at him. Um, you know, they got some open shots, but as long as we're flying around and making it tough, uh, we had a little bit of trouble rebounding out of it. But that's probably because it's new and we got to come back and help. But uh, you know, it was a good look to throw at them, and um, I think that's something obviously you see now, and you know, you can use in the future. What about the pace? How much of your the, your personal emphasis is on pace, and you're focused on it? How much is the team focused on it? Well, I think Nicola likes to play, you know, a tempo like that, and then obviously when you got Russ in, uh, in the starting lineup, you know how fast he likes to play. Um, I don't put any emphasis on it. That's just my job, you know. Maybe, maybe I can run, um, you know, to the rim, and even if I get the ball, maybe I don't. Um, but maybe somebody will collapse on me, and Mike will hit a corner three. Um, so that's, a lot of that's my job. And when Aaron's playing, that's Aaron's job a lot of times. But um, when Aaron's out, uh, we got to get somebody on the rim. And when we get uh, somebody on the rim, uh, we typically get open threes. So um, you know, playing up, uh, you know, up tempo. Uh, helps us a lot, um, especially when we're rebounding the ball. You know, we're not taking it out of the net. Uh, that's when we're at our best. Christian Russ talked about how, while he, he knows all you younger players can make plays and step up and hit shots, that doing so against a team like the Thunder can really give you guys confidence. And for maybe for you, it's a little different because you play a little bit more. But for Julian and Peyton and, and Hunter, stepping up and having moments, do you, do you see that as like a real confidence building thing? In, yeah, I mean, it can build your confidence if it goes well, um, you know. But it's, you just got to learn from it, you know, whether it goes really well or it doesn't. Um, those, being in those moments is something that, you know, you can't really replicate in practice. You can't get that anywhere else besides being in the moment. And like I said, when we have guys out um, and Peyton and, you know, whoever it is, Hunter was really good tonight, I thought. Um, you know, when they get in those moments, like I said, there's nowhere else you can learn. You throw it in the fire. You know, you got to guard Shea on a switch. You got to um, hit a big shot. You got to hit a free throw. Whatever it is, um, there's nowhere else you can get that besides in the moment. So um, that's always good for everybody. That's good for us. That's good for you know Nicola. That's good for everybody who's out there um, because you know we, we need to be in those situations um, and be able to fight through adversity. You know, so when it is time um, in the playoffs, you know we are ready for that. What's different about your three for you now that you've gone up against guys like Shea three years now? You've seen him a lot of times. Is anything different? You know, a guy's tendencies a little better. No, he's he's good. I mean, he's he's got he's got a um, you know he can react to anything. You know, he he's shooting the, the pull up a lot this year, uh, which kind of throws another um, interesting thing um, at you. You know, he's good off bumps. He can go right. He can go left. He can finish. 
Um, he can do a little bit of everything. He's a good player. So um, we got to throw a lot of looks at him. And I think we did a good job of that tonight. Um, you know, 28, that's, you know, not, not that bad. So um, as long as you can make it really tough on him and make him work for every shot, you know, that's what you want to do with every good player. And um, I don't think anything has changed. Like I said, he's adding to his game. I'm trying to throw him different things, um, you know, personally. And I think uh, we had some really good moments on him, especially late, especially in the fourth quarter. Um, and then Peyton comes over and, you know, saves the game and makes a really big play at the end. So you got to throw good players a lot of different things, and he's going to have a lot of different reactions. As long as you can make it hard on him, um, you know, that's all you can, that's all you can ask for. Mentioned Russ's energy. When you're getting that from a guy who's you know been in the league for a while, every single game, uh, what does that kind of do for the team in general? Yeah, I mean he's he's like that in game, in practice, when he wakes up, when he walks in the locker room, like that's that's who he is, you know. I'm, and there's I've never seen somebody like that 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 has energy constantly, and, and it's always positive. It's always you know we're down 11 or whatever it was, 13 in the third quarter. You know he's all that's always. You know we're gonna win this game. We're gonna do this. Um, you know, sometimes you look at him like he's crazy, but uh, he's, you know, he's so good for us. And that was one thing coming in. We knew that was going to be good, you know, and in games, you know, whether it's a game 63, you know, and on a, on a Tuesday night, uh, you know, that, that energy is really good for your team. And, you know, uh, I was so used to, you know, doing that, but it's even hard for me to match, you know, his energy. And so I'm learning from him every day, just, you know, trying to take little things from him. Like I said, he comes in shoot around with energy. He's dunking and shoot around. So um, does a really good job of taking care of his body. And he's just a really, you know, good vet to learn from and take things from. And he was great tonight, obviously. Offense, defense, he picked up Shea on the last play. So, I mean, he's been great for us. And, you know, we just love having him around the locker room and, uh, you know, playing with him. Christian, last year you only got uh, 30 free throws in a game as a team seven times. This year it's already happened four times. It happened today? Yeah, yeah. And you've won all those games. Can Should have been way more than that. You won. Well. Um, can you just talk about the, the team getting, you know, it, it seems like there's initiative in you guys to get to the line more this year. Well, I think that, uh, you know, we take what we get. I mean, we don't we don't really force anything. We try to play fast. Um, and when we're getting downhill, you know, maybe it's offensive rebound, we get fouled. Like I thought today, um, you know, Nicola had a lot of attempts at the rim where um, they were really physical with him. They do a good job of that. Chet's really good at that. Um, you know, so I thought we were going to shoot more today. Um, but, you know, we got to have an attack mindset, you know, wh whether it's you don't want to settle for too many threes, and that's a big thing for us. You know, if we're not hitting, get downhill. And, and, and Russ um, is another, he starts that too. You know, Nicole is always at the rim, but Russ is at the rim. You know, P. Watt's at the rim. So um, whenever we're attacking like that, that opens up um, a lot of things, like I said, in transition. As long as somebody gets on the rim, um, and we've been attacking all game, normally when we get on the rim, we get a corner three. So uh, we got to play with that attack mindset at all times. And when we're playing fast and we're taking care of the ball, you got to do both. You know, you got to take care of the ball and play fast. But um, when we're doing both, uh, we're, we're really good. Do you guys think you're getting better at reading the floor when Nicola gets double teams? Because he was getting double teamed every single possession tonight. Uh, yeah, I mean, you're going to get better with that as the season goes on. And we have different, we've had a lot of different lineups already this year. Um, so you're going to always get better at that. But, I mean, we have, we, we go over that a lot, you know. Um, so we pretty much have that ingrained in our head and where to be. And, you know, sometimes we're not there early enough or, you know, maybe maybe we do it perfectly. But we've had, a, I mean, even last game, we had a lot of times where Michael pulled, you know, right in front, right when he was supposed to, hit a lot of threes. I think we had some good cuts today. Um, but OKC's really good at throwing different things at him too. Um, so I think we are doing a good job. But, you know, we just got to read and react. And um, the coaches do a really good job of making sure we know exactly where we're supposed to be.